Long ago in a village by the sea, there was a young man named Urashima Taro. He made his living by going out to the sea in his rowboat every day to catch fish. But one day, when Taro went out to sea, he couldn't catch any fish. So he quit early and went back to shore. There he found some village children making a commotion. What is it? Oh. <laughs> I've never what seen is that it? before. What is it? Oh. Going closer, he saw a baby turtle exhausted by the children's torment. Get out of here. Taro took pity on the poor little turtle. He took the baby turtle home and nursed it back to health. The next day, the baby turtle was fine, so Taro released it back into the sea, where it swam happily away and disappeared. A few days later, when Taro was fishing as usual... Mr. Urashima, Mr. Urashima Taro... He heard a voice calling his name. Urashima Taro thought it strange to hear a voice way out at sea, but then he heard his name called again. And the sound was coming from the water. I am a messenger from the Dragon King of the Sea. The baby turtle you saved was from the palace of the Sea Dragon. I will take you there to repay you for your kindness. Get on my back. Urashima Taro did as he was told and got onto the turtle's back. Welcome to the Palace of the Sea Dragon. My name is Otohime. I am the turtle you saved the other day. I wanted to see the world above, so I changed myself into a turtle. The turtle he rescued had become this beautiful princess. Urashima Taro was astounded. Please come this way. My father wishes to thank you himself. Welcome, Master Urashima. Thank you for saving my daughter. You may enjoy yourself here as long as you please. Urashima Taro was treated to a fabulous reception, and the mysterious day was over.
Each day was like a dream. Then one day... This is a room where one forgets time. Urashima Terra was taken to a special room. In this room, one can quickly spend an enjoyable year. But don't use it too much, as there is no way to turn time back. Have fun, but be careful. forgot all about the passage of time. He enjoyed himself in the rim of time again and again. <laughs> Nevertheless, eventually he remembered his other life above the sea. The next day, he asked about going home. Don't talk about that. Just live here and have fun. Otohima was overcome with sadness. But she couldn't stop him. Urashima Taro's mind was made up. Then it can't be helped. Take this a as a memento. With it, you can come back to the Palace of the Sea. But you must never, ever open the lid in your world. Never. And so, as he had come, Urashima Taro once again got on the turtle's back and left the Palace of the Sea Dragon. Urashima Taro went back to the village he missed so much. The village, however, had changed. Where his house had been was now a big field with big trees and overgrown weeds. And the villagers were all people he didn't know. As Urashima Taro hung around aimlessly... Young man, is something wrong? Do you know the house that was here? Ah, yes. There used to be a deserted old house, but that was long ago. Long ago. Then Urashima Taro knew that what seemed like months at the Palace of the Sea Dragon had passed as decades or even centuries here in the village. Forgetting Orohima's warning never to open the box... Instantly, Urashima Taro's hair was gone, and he changed into a withered old man with a bent back. No longer having any place where he belonged, Urashima Taro just disappeared. Some say he turned into a crane and flew off somewhere. But that is another story. <laughs> <laughs> 